How's it going you guys? In today's video, I wanna talk about sticking to a routine. When I started my sales job in around August of last year, I started to form a routine that focused on my fitness, that focused on improving my finances and growing my YouTube channel. Every week on either a Wednesday or a Thursday on my day off, I would come here to film YouTube videos. And I remember there was a time around a month and a half ago where I stopped filming videos that were uncut, that were in one place. And I started making a lot of cuts on what I'm saying, adding photos, footage, new places, etc. And I did this because I feel like I was too lazy when I had unedited videos. And then basically when I was talking, it didn't really feel genuine. It didn't feel genuine because I feel like I was reading it out of a script. The routine that I have when it comes to improving my fitness, my finances in this YouTube channel, I want to be sustainable anywhere in the country and eventually the world. So my routine involves me waking up at around five and going to the gym at about 5.30. And when I come back from the gym, I have hard boiled eggs and a banana. And then I go throughout my day, work all day and come back home and focus on editing and making YouTube videos. When I came back home in August, when I came back home late July, I was lost. And because of the low points I had that year, it sparked me to start my YouTube channel. Now in the beginning, I was very awkward and I was very quiet. I was very timid. I was very afraid to film in public, to film in front of people. But the more consistency we put to our YouTube videos, the more likely we'll film in places that might make us uncomfortable at first. Now, the reason I'm here is because this is the place that I started to make those unedited videos on self-improvement. And I loved filming here just because it was a place to strive to live at. And I'm visiting these places a couple days before I go because I'm going to embark on this adventure across the country. Now, when it comes to your hometown, there are going to be some things you miss about it. The first thing I'm gonna miss about my home state is the different types of towns and cities you can experience. California is a great place for someone to arrive in because of the different amount of environments you experience. And I'm in a beautiful area right now. And it's something to strive to live in if you plan on raising a family. But since I don't plan on doing that for a long time, this is a place where I spend time in and just experience the beauty of eventually having a family. The reason me and other like-minded brothers are delaying family, delaying marriage, is not because we wanna avoid it altogether, but it's because we feel we are not ready and that our fathers, our grandfathers and great-grandfathers, maybe we feel they had a family too early and because they had a family too early, they didn't pursue what they truly wanted to do in their life in the first place. For example, my father, wanted to be an electrician, but because of all the obligations and all the bills that he had to pay for his family, he had to work an airline job for 20 years and some nights sleep in his car at the airport parking lot. The second thing I'm gonna miss about California is meeting people all throughout the world. I meet people from all different countries. I learn about their language, their way of life, etc. It's still interesting how in Montana, Idaho, and Arizona, you experience different European cultures their cuisines and it's interesting how they mix different types of cuisine together to make pretty good dishes for example in bozeman montana they have some restaurants that combine two or three european cuisines and when i go on this adventure i'll show you guys the restaurants i'm talking about and that is a part of my purpose to show people new places. Showing people new places doesn't just mean showing them the ocean, but also showing you guys restaurants that you might want to go to for a special occasion, like for your birthday or a loved one's birthday. The third thing I'm going to miss about California is the ocean. Now, obviously, I miss the ocean because it is a time of reflection to reflect on your past, feeling the present moment and thinking about what the future takes you. It's kind of like a rainy day because when it's a rainy day, you're reflecting on your past and you might be feel, <clears throat> and you might feel very negative. And when you're letting go of your cravings, 
a good way to let go of your cravings is to feel the nourishment that you get from sunlight hitting your face and your arms. When I was in South Dakota, I met people who never left the country. They never left out of state. And of course they can see the ocean through their phone screen on YouTube, for example. But of course, seeing that on their phone is not the same as seeing it in real life. To hear the sounds on your ears, to feel the sprinkles of the ocean water go on your face, it doesn't feel the same as seeing it on a travel vlog on YouTube on your phone. Once enough momentum is gained, there will be the ability to show the people who are stuck in these reservations, beautiful places around California. California isn't just San Francisco, San Jose, Oakland, and LA. It's much more than that. You know, for example, Highway 1. Highway 1 is a beauty. If you go all throughout that, you'll see so many beautiful sights throughout that. But a lot of people, especially in other countries and other states, they neglect that and they only focus on the metropolitan areas of the Bay Area. They only focus on the metropolitan areas of LA. They don't look at the more beautiful areas outside of it, like where I'm at now in Danville, California. It's a good example. The suburban areas have a lot to offer in terms of eateries, in terms of raising a family. I remember when I was talking about Danville, California and comparing it to Bozeman, Montana. And the reason I was comparing these two places together is because Danville has the, because Danville has these modern suburban homes while at the same time having a old style downtown, just like Bozeman. Bozeman has all these brand new modern suburban homes while it still has that old style American feel, that old style American downtown to it. Both places are clean, up kept, and they are where people raise families. Of course, Bozeman is known to be a college town, Montana State, but when I experienced Bozeman during the summer, I saw how it was a place where people were spending time with their families. That's one thing I'm looking forward to when I go back to Bozeman, Montana. It has that old style American feel to it. It has very nice suburban homes with people raising families, yet it has all this sprawling activity. I feel like in Danville, it's a beautiful place, nice suburban homes, old style downtown, but there's not much activity. I remember I was talking with one of my friends and her father told me that Danville is not a good place to be a young person because there's not much to do. I don't know if that adds up anymore because a lot of young people just spend their time online so they can just do that from anywhere. It doesn't matter if they're raised in a small town or a big city. But yeah, man, I want to be part of a beautiful place where people raise families. It has that old style American feel to it. Yet it has all this sprawling activity where I'll be able to still make a living. Currently, I'm in Pacifica, California for the conclusion of this video. So to conclude this video, I am forming a routine that is going to be sustainable anywhere in the United States that improves my fitness, my finances, and developing this YouTube channel in order for me to completely dedicate my time. It is important to have a daily routine that you're able to do throughout the country that improves your finances, your physique, and developing what you truly care about, what you truly want to do with your livelihood. For me, I would love to show people new places and get paid for it. This YouTube channel is a way for me to fulfill my purpose to show people new places. And when I'm about to embark on this adventure to go across the country, what I'm going to miss the most about California is the Korean and Japanese cuisine. I love Korean and Japanese food because I'm in the Bay Area, because there's a sizable population of people from Korea and Japan. I'm going to miss my mom's crock pot cooking. I'm going to miss my inspirational general manager who helped improve my character and to stress the importance on going to the gym. I'm going to miss my Filipino father who I worked at Toyota with. Uh, Samala, Samala, Samala. I'm going to miss the mild weather of California which strongly reminds people of the Mediterranean in Europe. I'm going to miss the ocean because the ocean is a time for me to reflect on my past, to be in the present moment, 
and to take actions right now that will help benefit my future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm looking forward to going on this adventure and showing you guys new places. I love you guys. God bless you and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.